Welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing a DIY textured canvas art and this is part two. I have a video from a few months ago showing part one so be sure to check that out. For this DIY you're gonna need some canvas, some joint compound, a piping bag that's typically used for icing, palette knives, paint, brushes, and a putty knife. For design one, I'm going to be taking my two 8x10 canvases and just spreading a thin layer of joint compound that I purchased at Lowe's. You can get it at a Lowe's or Home Depot, and it's not too expensive for this tub. Spreading a nice thin layer across both of my canvases. Once I've spread a thin layer across my canvases, I'm just taking the icing piping bag. You could just use a regular bag for this as well and cut a little hole at the tip. And I'm just filling it up with a little bit of joint compound. Just how you would ice a cupcake, I am basically icing in a little circular deformed pattern on my canvas with the joint compound. So this is very flexible. You could do a lot of different designs with this. Using the piping bag, I think is a great technique for designs like this. Feel free to do whatever you want, but this is what I decided to do. and I just scrape the edges for a nice clean finish. And then I'm just doing my other one here. So once you've finished your design, you should just let it dry overnight. So these are then the next day. I had a few little cracks on them, which I decided to just fill up with my joint compound and my finger, just to fill them up a little bit so it would look a little cleaner. And this only took about an hour or so to dry, and I feel like it just made it look a little bit nicer. I'm using this vanilla colored acrylic paint that I got at Michael's and I'm just painting a thin coat on each of the canvases. You can play around with this. You could do multiple colors. I decided to just keep it very neutral and simple and stick to one color. And then I would let these dry for at least a few hours before hanging them. And on to design number two. This one is going to take a decent amount of time, but I just think it came out really cute. I'm taking an 18 by 24 inch canvas and spreading a thin layer of joint compound with a putty knife. And then I'm taking these plastic palette knives that I got at Michael's for a few dollars and just kind of playing around with it. This was a little hard to figure out how to do flower, but I was able to kind of figure it out. So I was just glopping a little dollop of the joint compound and then gliding my palette knife across to give it a little petal effect. So there's a few different ways you can do this, but this is what I found the easiest and the fastest for me to do. I let this design dry overnight. The next day, it did have a few cracks in it, just like my other piece did. So I just took my finger and a little bit of joint compound and filled those up the best I could, which didn't take too long. And then I let it dry for a little bit before going in with the paint. I'm using the same vanilla acrylic paint color that I used on design number one. decided to paint the flowers white just to clean them up a little bit and then I painted the centers a dark yellow color I was kind of going for like a daisy look and I feel like they came out very cute I let those dry overnight and then for design number three I'm spreading a thin layer of joint compound onto another 18 by 24 inch canvas 
And then I filled a piping bag with the joint compound and just cut a very tiny hole at the tip of it so that I'll get a nice thin line for my joint compound. I was inspired by a Pinterest photo. I'll put the inspiration here and then the original designer of this look. I just think it's so cute and it's supposed to, I believe, look like a bunch of seashells stacked on top of each other. So I just thought this was really cute if you're looking for a more nautical themed textured art. And then I cut in that same piping bag a slightly larger hole at the tip so that I'd be able to get a thicker line of joint compound for the edges of my shells. I carefully cleaned up the edges with a putty knife just so I wouldn't have anything hanging off on the ends. And then using a small fan brush that I got at Michael's, I'm just brushing on a very small amount of the joint compound in the shells in between each of the thin lines, just to give it an effect of extra texture and a little more dimension. Like the other pieces, I let this dry overnight. And then I went in the next day and added a little bit of white paint. This piece is really optional, I would say, to paint because it really already looks white with the joint compound. But I wanted to just take a pure white and just do the scalloped edges of the shells just to enhance the whiteness of them and make it a little more vibrant. And these are the finished designs. I think these came out so cute. I was able to do all of these between two days and I just am very happy with the designs. I'll put all the materials and everything I use in the description box down below. I think these add a nice touch to a plain wall. I had other textured canvas art here that I had shown in my original part one video of the DIY canvas art. So I'll have that video linked down below as well. And I'm so happy with the new pieces. They're not too expensive to make. And I feel like they just are a great way to freshen up your walls and just do something a little bit different. So I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this little DIY video. I'll have plenty of vlogs coming very soon, so make sure you guys subscribe for that. Thank you all so much for watching.